Hey guys, uh, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to check out Maven uh, project, Maven Waves project from GitHub, and same we have added in the uh, Eclipse, right? And uh, when I run this uh, Maven based application uh, as a web application, right? Because this is a Maven web based application. If I run on the Tomcat, then I should be getting a welcome message, right? And that's the message basically we have uh we, we would be getting uh from our jsp file right and this is our jsp file the same we are getting over here so now thing is that this uh web based uh, maven web based application i would like to deploy on the jt server then how we can do uh, using maven plugin right so for that of course you need a extra plugin to be added in pom.xml right so to get that plugin what you have to go what do you have to do you have to go to the google and here on google you can search for uh, maven jetty plugin right you'll get several links right you may get to the maven central repository or here you can see uh, www.eclipse.org if you go here then if you scroll down then you have this plugin so this plugin you have to add into your pom.xml right so here in pom.xml we have a build a uh, tag right build a start over here and closing over here between this you have to add uh, something is called plugins uh, inside the plugins you can add uh, you have several plugin tag and there you can add this uh, dependency plugin dependency right let me find it so inside the plugins uh, i have added one plugin for jetty so you have to specify group id dot arc dot eclipse dot jetty then you have to specify the artifact id and then version which version you would like to use so the combination of these three basically identifies the basically uh, any project or uh, that is called artifact right now you have to write the configuration within the configuration you have to write the wave app and there you have to specify the context path so context path i have given same as the uh, my project name and that's it now what you have to do you have to go to the right click over here go to the properties and here uh, i'm going to use command prompt of course what you can do you can right click and run as a maven project you can do go and you can get the several option but uh, I would prefer mainly command prompt. So I go to the here and uh, in project root directory, uh, here you can see we have a pom.xm. Now, here I am going to open command prompt and uh, I am going to use uh, mvn jetty colon run. Right? Uh, let's press enter. Now, all the plugins and dependencies are going to download. So, what went wrong? let me just say mm -hmm. uh, okay i did not save right i was supposed to save it so after saving i go back and i run the same command and here you can see uh, all the plugins and jars are, are getting downloaded from the maven repository yeah and here you can see now finally so if you run first time uh, this uh, a command on your command prompt then that may take little more time because i am running this command second time so most of the dependency or plugins have already downloaded and, and added into my local repository and that's the reason at this time this took less time so maven has some strategy first of all maven looks into the local repository that is nothing but the your username dot m2 directory if uh, all the dependency is already available in the local repository maven will not query the or maven will not uh, try to hit the central repository right so first time this may take some time because all the dependencies jars and plugins maven has to basically uh, download uh, from the central repository and for that you required at least internet connection good speed of internet connection yeah second time onwards if those dependencies are already available in the local repository then maven is not going to download same dependency from the central repository so here you can see saying that a started jetty server and that is running on the 8080 port so default is the 8080 port uh, if you want to run jetty on the some other port i'll tell you how we can do the same so now i'll go to the local host slash 
web app example if i uh, hit this base url then here you can see i can get this message welcome message that means uh, our war file is successfully deployed on the jetty server yeah now second thing if you would like to run this uh, jetty server some other port then you have command mvn minus djetty.port equals to you can assign the any four digit number and uh, basically this is the almost same command what we have written right so if you exclude this port details then we had ran this command right now if you want to run a jetty and some other port so in between what you can do you can specify the port number right so now if you run this command then your uh, your jetty is going to run other port number 9090 right same you can uh, here you can just we are passing this argument as a system variable right now if same you want to achieve through the pom.xml then inside the pom.xml configuration tag uh, after the web app you have to write the connector tag inside the connector you have to write uh, connectors tag you have to write inside the connector tag you have to write the connector and there you can specify the port number right that is also an alternative way to do the same yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you understood how we can use jetty uh, tomcat server in uh, pom.xml Hope you enjoy learning this video. This video may be beneficial for you. Guys, big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial.